Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from MyJS Electronics and today we're going to continue with the Mitsubishi E800 Dry where we're going to be setting our drive there in remote control using 2 wire control, 3 wire control and also we'll be uh, playing with uh, some potentiometer and, poten uh, with potentiometer. and we're also going to be uh, working a little bit more uh, with a uh, parameters. If you haven't seen the last video where we are commissioned the drive, we do the factory reset and uh, pretty much the run the uh, in a local control that video is going to be in the description below and all the manuals all the parts and things like that and everything like that, that i think would benefit you all these uh, links is going to be in the description below and before we get started guys these drives are available from a company called alc automation so they are going to be leaving the link in the description below and if you're interested in the purchasing of those drives and looking for 10 percent discount Definitely get in touch and, uh, and uh, let us know what you're after and we'll be able to help you out with that. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first station is wired in. That will be the two-wire control. And uh, before we get started, I'll quickly show you the things we are going to be using. As you can see, there's quite a big chunk of cables in here. So we are going to be using the uh, Mitsubishi Drive's internal safety uh, system, uh, where this uh, little linker is in there. Let me show you the wiring in a minute. So where the S1, S2, and PC must be joined together. And uh, we have run that through our e-stop. So I'll show that one in a minute. So, and uh, regarding the uh, cables itself, I am plus we need to make sure because by default, the little uh, uh, selector switch in here is selected to source. You need to make sure that it's uh, pushed up to sync so the terminal inputs are able to work from SD supply. So uh, regarding a uh, wiring, so we've got in here, we've got start forward, start reverse, and obviously that's our supply uh, to close the channels. And we are, uh, plus we have another cable going into MRS, which is uh, which is by default something something external, some, 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 something external, but we are gonna be reprogramming that one for our uh, uh, junk button. And uh, this uh, RES, that will be for our reset, just in case you wanna add other, an additional button to be able to uh, reset it. So the station pretty much is going to look uh, like that. So we got run forward, run reverse, jog, and we got the speed on there as well. So and regarding wiring, so the little safety system inside the, uh, the drive works uh, quite a different uh, in a couple of different ways, but I'm gonna show you just this one, the one I'm using, I've got a, uh, number 10 which is coming from s1 coming to one uh, end of the normally closed contact and then, then s uh, the nine and uh that cable number nine and cable number two which are going back to cable number nine is s2 and cable two is pc uh, that way i am able to uh, achieve desired trip which is this one so you can see the drive now is going into a uh, e-stop whatever that says i don't even know and to reset it, you just click that. And so every time the the drive, uh, that, that button, the uh, ESOC will be clicked, it will shut the drive down. So um, you go, and then obviously from there on, I have a uh, the SD, which is a number one cable coming to a normally open uh, contact, which one heads off to a SDF, which is the forwards, and then it obviously supplies the uh, power to all of the all the other uh, normally are closed contacts and uh, the right next to it that's my reverse and that will go for SDR and if you can see down there I got two buttons for the jog because for the jog button to work you will require a run button like all the other drives do so uh, basically as as the button will be pushed these both will be pushed at the same time this cable down here will go to M what's it called MRS which we're going to actually show you how to reprogram it and the other one will activate the start button as well. So it will jog, uh, now actually act it will activate the reverse, reverse button. It will jog rever in, in reverse. If you want to jog uh, in, uh, in forwards, just make sure the jog, the second button is, is, is closing after forward run. So I just, because I had a very short cable, I couldn't get to it. I just put it on the reverse. So but if you want reverse, put it in reverse uh, start. Or if you want the in uh, jogging in uh, forwards, put them cable on the forward star so and obviously we have a 
yeah, potentiometer in here as well, which my potentiometer is rated at uh, 10 kilo, um, 10 uh, kilo ohm. So I think it's the minimum is one for this drive. So uh, I couldn't see that they specifically say that it has to be because it says one kilo ohm on the, on the manual. But I doesn't say is that what exactly needs to be plus minus not sure but I'm using 10 kilo ohm and it works just fine. So for the uh, analog input as you can see the 10, 2 and a 5 those three is going to be for your potentiometer. So having talked, uh, having said that now they've gone through the buttons and the wiring I quickly show you how to uh, the uh, assignment works basically we need to assign a jog to any of these inputs and I mean could be any of them or just I just thought MRS I probably will never use it uh, for whatever reason so uh, I, I'm just gonna put it on that one so you can go on the page in a manual supplied in a, in, a, in a description guys I definitely strongly advise you to get the RF configurator because this uh, this process is, is so much easier with RF configurator because you can uh, literally go through the all the parameters in configurator and click double click on them and find out more information it just opens the manual pages for you so but anyway in a this in a manual let me zoom out a little bit in a manual in description you will uh, find this information page 59 where you can see the the starting 178 onwards it is all oh, this pretty much start going through all your uh, inputs in here and also the ones you can reprogram it tells you in here what sort of numbers you're going to assign to it and uh, what they are uh, in each number will do a different thing so and to get the list of what each number again if you have this manual you want to open up in a PDF if you go on any of these uh, uh, pages in here and no this is not colored but if you want to see what it is, just click. Uh, this is clickable in here, so just will take you straight to the to the page where you need to be, and you get to this page, what actually pretty much explains you what each number does. And as you can see, jog is five. So uh, all we need to do is go into mode parameter 183. Oh, 183. 183 set in there and as you can see I already changed that to 5 and that is it from there on as soon as you set that one up your uh, joke button will be programmed ready to go so let me put on the cover and show you how that works okay cover is on let's have a look at how that works so here we go this is our station so here we go we run forwards oh that pretty chillometer all fully operation obviously the acceleration acceleration I think stands for 5 seconds still could change that as well and we'll find out those parameters in a minute so uh, and in this in this drive looks like it does override no it doesn't override so we request you to turn it off to spin the other way that is very interesting so if you close both signals it will just stop it wasn't like that well that's a, that's something new so here we go that's how you pretty much uh, the the running forward will work and also then you have your jog which which can be adjusted in parameter 15 you can adjust the speed in the parameter 16 you can adjust the jogs a uh, 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 acceleration the acceleration so here we go that's how you do the two wire control let's jump on to three wire control okay three wire control has been wired in and we have made some changes so i can show you a bit more explore a bit more what can you do with the drive of course there's like tons you can do with this drive it's just it's just i just want to explore a bit more show you a bit more other things and playing around uh, what can you do and what you cannot what you cannot do so for the, for the three wire control we obviously we need to create stop and to create stop you can assign stop to any digital inputs that is just any digital input you wish to use use it and then and, and it will be added uh, uh we programmed as a stop so to select as a stop so you can see in here in the manual again that for the stop the number is 25 Okay, and then, then there still can be played in the parameters uh, 250, how that works as well. And another thing we have added is one down here, which is emergency stop in here, where you can, uh, that's why we have removed this guy in here. So, so I can show you a bit more, there was the cables were in, in the way. But you can achieve the emergency stop as well by programming in one of the digital inputs. And then in parameter 1103, you can determine how fast will it stop the motor. So uh, 
uh, to test that out. So how we did it? So uh, we we programmed the stop into a uh, MRS again. Uh, how we did it? That was a uh, uh, in our 183 set. If you see 183, we have changed that to 25. So now that will be our closed uh, signal, which we need for the stop. I'll show you the wire in a minute. And also the star four, star reverse stays at the same, and uh, SD we use the same. And then we program the emergency stop in RL, and that is a uh, uh, 180. In there we select it to 92, and I'll show you how that works in a minute. So it's a bit more exploring what drive can do. It's just a fraction what what what, what we're doing in here it can do, but just to give you give you an idea how you can play with those inputs just from the drive uh, and but there's a lot more you can do within the software but just from the drive there's so much you can do so uh, let's exit that modes out so uh, for the uh, control station this is what that's uh, got control station is going to look like it's going to be our stop then we're going to run forwards then we can run the reverse and we also have potentiometer but you can have a lot more on your station to it uh, you can have uh, that jog button you can have a preset speeds uh, you can have a lot a lot more than than, than this it's just, just a basic thing which if you want something to set up for yourself sort of the most common application I'm going to be showing you and regarding wiring uh, in here this time we have a, a signal number one which is the SD signal coming to our normally e e emergency button in here there's no one and uh, it goes through there and then as you can see that the cable number three is returning to RL from emergency button from there on it continues into the stop button oh, uh, stop button in here so where it comes out this two and that two goes back to our MRS remember the one we uh, programmed to be a stop so now that is a uh, because it requires normally a closed signal for that as soon as the driver sees that it starts performing differently so now we got a number four goes to start forward and number five goes back to start in reverse and that's pretty much it and obviously as I said if you want to add more program more things into it you don't have to just basically do all this in there. Just you can do whatever you want, as I showed you already in the, in the, in the manual. It's quite quite interesting and quite in, in, in it. Oh, I don't know the word for it. But anyway, let me put the, a cover on. I'll show you how that works. All right, the cover is on. There's one thing we are going to change, and one thing I have completely forgot to say is a terminal overload of the motor. Uh, that's something you need to set set up in a parameter nine. This is basically it's like your, uh, if you don't use external overloaders, then uh, you need to set that in a drive, and uh, that is done in a parameter uh, nine. So oh, in parameter nine, change that to whatever you want the motor to trip out under what uh, current conditions. So I put down a point one of a less than the actual motor. So I'd make sure that's done. I completely forgot that. Say that in a setup video. But another thing we're going to change is our uh, uh, 7 and 8, uh, we're going to change our acceleration to acceleration to one second set. There we go, so, uh, so that's done. So here's our station. So now the way it works, the run forward and run reverse signals will both be, will be a, uh, in uh, a latch mode. So uh, here we go. And also our potentiometer, and you can go, you can go backwards as well. See, yeah, but I can uh, e stop because the deceleration I put e stop at uh, zero, so it goes boom and it stops as, as quick as it can, and it keeps flashing S9. That same function can be achieved from these terminals, but I sort of give you a share, give you an idea what else you can you do. So from that, and the one more last thing I should, before we finish to show you is a uh, release that e stop. So that uh, that problem will uh, error will disappear, and uh, if if you want to jog it uh, jog it from the, the front keypad, you keep clicking the uh, mode and uh, not mode the PU, and it's, when it shows you jog, you can jog it with the uh, run button or uh, in front of the keypad if you wish to do that when you jump between the PU and the X. Terminal. And that'll be it, ladies and gentlemen. This will this will where we cover the two wire three control, positive geometry. I look into the 
more into a uh, parameters and uh, we are in the next video we are going to be exploring more jumping into more the frequency setup and uh, mop uh, speed control setup which is plus minus controls hopefully we do get dig deeper and hopefully by end of the third video you have pretty much general gist is how to work with this drive strongly suggest you're using rf configurator because that it makes life so much easier if you even if you don't want to program it with your laptop and then you want to do it from here it's just by reading the manual from rf configurator is so much advantage uh, advantageous rather than just trying to go through pages so uh, i will be talking more about it in our fourth video so other than that ladies and gentlemen hopefully this was informative and helps you out to get your uh, motor running the way you want it and if you like the video please smash that like if you didn't uh much dislike comment below what you like what you don't like and uh uh, let me know uh, if there's anything else you want me to cover on these drives do leave a, a, that in the comments below and i will assess can that be done or not other than that ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video